Yes, welcome back. This is the Touchline with me, Bernardo Kumu, and I'm pleased to be joined on set by Mwalimu Kikechi Kombo, a former director with Kenya Rugby Union and also one of the managers at Komra Rugby Club. And we're Karibu Sana Mwalimu Kikechi. Yeah, thank you. Right? Thank and you. basically, yeah. we're here to talk about uh, Shuja yeah. and rag matters rugby. But let's talk about Shuja as we turn to the RB World Seven Series. Of course, today yeah. is the big day that they did announce their return again. But Against France going down narrowly, 24-19, yeah. right? Yeah. What do you make of their return, and particularly that pa performance today? I think that's a big, uh, a, a big thing for mm. Kenyan rugby. Mm. And I think uh, people had, uh, and fans were used to watching uh, Shuja during mm. the Seven Series. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they went down uh, in 2023, I think uh, it was a big disappointment. Mm -hmm. But uh, they worked hard, and uh, last season they played the Challenge Series, and they came back mm -hmm. uh, to HSP Series. I mm -hmm. think now the fans can be able now to move across the, the, the world, uh, against, um, across the world again mm -hmm. uh, during the series and uh, cheer their team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think uh, they, they really tried, and I think that was good for, 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 for the Kenyan Sevens. Mm -hmm. Team mm -hmm. and today, uh, I think when they took over the pitch, I think uh, it was a true a, a dream come true, uh, whereby they played France. Unfortunately, they they went down, uh, but uh, all not not lost. They still have a, a game against South Africa and uh, Australia where they can uh, redeem themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, uh, given that uh, some of the players haven't played in the in the seventh series, mm -hmm. I think it was a bit, it, it, it was a good show mm -hmm. uh, from the game they played. Yes, yeah. and, <coughs> and yeah, of course, a number of players who have not been at this particular stage before, but they have the Olympic presence, uh, Olympic experience. Yeah. Uh, the relevance of such players, including the two captains, Asati and Oro, who have also Nigel, yeah, who have also turned out for yes, yeah, mm, Patrick Mondi. Odongo, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, Amaisa, you see, now these are, okay, well, these are the players who played during the, the Olympic, mm -hmm. uh, though they didn't go far, they lost, but it was a good experience because now they were playing uh, the, against the teams mm -hmm. that were playing in the HSB series, and you know, with them, they were playing in the, in the, in the, in the lower league, uh, mostly the, the teams that play in the challenge series, the, um, the second tier and the third tier teams, yes. but see, now they are playing the first tier teams at the Olympic. Uh, but they give a, a good show, but some kind of lack of experience in playing against the high, the high paced teams. Mm -hmm. I think that's also what led them not to not, not to perform so well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same was being high experience even today in the at the Dubai uh, series. Yes, yeah. and, and and maybe um, their performance uh, today, uh, maybe a number of people say that it could give actually what we were all waiting for is whether it did give us that particular. Uh, of what will come, you yeah. know, if they'll be able to hold their particular position or place in this particular this campaign. Now that yeah. there is relegation, you know, you yeah, yeah. fall below, yeah. you're out. You're out. Did, yeah. they, did this particular performance give such, uh, you know, they, they show that it will be all better and we are not going down easily? Yeah, the way, the way they played, you know, these are um, the, the, the champion for the last season and also the Olympic champion, yes, uh, France, France. And yes. the way they, they, they gave their match. Though, when you look at the France also team, they had so many deputants. You know, the guys who won the Olympics, I think they have also decided to play for the 15th team. Yeah, yes, they have moved to 15. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they, I think they are trying to assemble the team. And even you can be able to see how France was playing, there was a lot of uh, gaps in between where Kenyan could obviously uh, sneaked in and won that particular game. And they went up to the last minute and the extra, ex that's the extra. Uh, the the extra, the extra minutes now for now, yeah, France took over and uh, they took advantage mm -hmm. and uh, won that particular game. But mm -hmm. it was a hard game um, also for, for France, mm -hmm. uh, not winning against the, the Kenyan team, the Shuja. Yeah, yeah. And, and France, of course, missing a number of, number of their players, as you've mentioned, who've gone on to the 15s, including... Yeah. Uh, one of their key the Dupont, men, yeah, yeah, Dupont, yeah, yes. The, 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 the World Series are player of the year. Yes. Uh, the seventh player of the year. Yes. Yeah, so not also having him played in this particular match, you see now it also sets up a, a tricky affair for, for our team because now, you see now this is the start, but you see now you, you need to win this particular game, especially the first two, because now from the fourth leg now, you see now teams are stabilizing themselves and the notification is coming up. I think that's now we need the coaches now, experience, they go and analyze the other teams and now they, when they come to play, they always always play the, the, the games normally on high pace and um, they, 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 they manage their defense, they manage their attack uh, very well so that uh, they can be able to, to, to get maximum 
point and then avoid the, the relegation. So I think it's, a, it's one way that um, now also our coaches need to look at it and uh, step, try to stabilize because as we moved on to the third and fourth, I think it also becomes a challenge. Mm -hmm. Given that also the market of our players, you know, these are amateur players, not professional yes, as much sure. compared to the other countries. Mm -hmm. So now it, comes, it becomes a bit tricky now when you move on to uh, high paced uh, uh, games now. Mm -hmm. uh, so now this particular team, they are positioning themselves mm -hmm. uh, on, on relegation, on uh, maintaining the series and all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and maybe, uh, do you think that the contractual issues that have locked out uh, two key men for bling here, talking about uh, Onyale and Omondi, do you think? The uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's an issue of uh, the contract. And I think that's, uh, that has been um, a, a big problem for the Kenyan Sevens team. And also, not even Kenyans, uh, just uh, rugby in general, especially with the 15s team and uh, the Simpas, and also when you look at the ladies team. Mm -hmm. I think the ladies team have tried, and as much as they complain, but they keep on playing. Mm -hmm. But even some players now, they leave. And um, our, our, our rugby has um, an issue, especially when it comes to the contract, and that's why we can't be able to keep our players. These players, we develop them and they leave. Look at the likes of Olindi, the Bufa, uh, Felix, you know, they, all, they all left mm -hmm. and they are playing. And even these two players that um, now they, they are not playing, they mm -hmm. might get the clubs mm -hmm. and they will be able to go. So mm -hmm. where are we as um, uh, the, uh, the union? You see now we're supposed to maintain our players. And uh, the issue of uh, contract is a big thing. These two players, have, um, they, they, are, they have played in the series. They are most, they yes. have the most experienced players for the second and seventh team. Because they are playing in the series, Onyala has been there, Omondi has been there. And uh, we need them at this particular time for the next series. So I hope even we look at the commentators during this today's game. Mm -hmm. He was mentioning about Tonyal and Omond, mm -hmm. and he was also hoping that they'll be able to, to be there in the next series. Mm -hmm. Because now they, when they, analyze, they have analyzed the game and they also see how these guys are playing. Mm -hmm. They see there's a gap there. And mm -hmm. Kenya needs mm -hmm. this and particular team, and he was saying probably in part in uh, Australia, yeah. these guys will be, will be there and uh, representing their country. Yes, and uh, what we're talking about is all about uh, professionalizing the league. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, professionalizing even the even the players themselves, even the the, the, the the teams themselves. We need now to professionalize and uh, put them in um, in in a, in a contractual scale. And these players long long term long term lo uh, for the long long term contract. Mm -hmm. You see now, let us plan for ten years, but let us not just plan for one year. You see now, like uh, I was looking at uh, the Springboks. You see now they are already planning for 20, 20 27 and uh, twenty thirty one mm -hmm. uh, World Cup. On how they are going to win the World Cup in mm -hmm. twenty thirty one, mm -hmm. and they are bringing new players and. Uh, because they know within the next two years, they mm -hmm. some of the players will be faced out. Mm -hmm. But see now, they need to uh, kind of maintain and uh, already put them in the, in the, in the, mm -hmm. in the contract mm -hmm. and be able to, uh, to, to put them in the right scale. So that when now this particular um, uh, the team will be playing, you see now there'll be no gaps mm -hmm. and they'll be able to win those matches. So the issue of um, the, 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 the Kenyan Seven, you see now they also need to sort it out early enough. Let's also have academies where they have these players uh, being now from the being moving up and down. Yes, the and also up having and an down experience in the period. series. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you cannot just leave like players like Injera, Hayange leave. Then there's a huge gap in between. Yeah. Why? Because we'll be not having that academy yeah. to channel in players up and down mm -hmm. so that by the time these guys move out, we already have an established team. So yeah. we maintain our status in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the series. Yeah, and that's maybe what forced people to do a lot of work last season when they had to attend all the match, all the ra local seven series where they had to you know, find a good number of talents in today's sevens, but that's oh, not yeah. the yeah. proper way. Right? Yeah, not the proper way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because now, the, the, normally what the coaches do, they move around within the six or the seven legs, then they select players and put them in the, in the, in the, in the, in the camp, where now they trim them down to 30 players and get contracted. Probably uh, when it comes to this, but contracted now, that's where now it starts on uh, training. But see now, these players, they are not specifically in the camp. They mm -hmm. keep on moving to their clubs. They go and play the league, 15th league. Mm -hmm. Then during the week, they come back again. You see now, uh, some, some of them in the process, even some of them get injuries. And yeah. you know, they cannot be able to maintain the, yeah. the, the, the seven system. Uh, so there's a, a, an issue with yeah. that particular thing. But this thing will be sorted by mm -hmm. Kenya Rugby. When you look at the Ingeras recommendation mm -hmm. of 2017-2019 uh, mm -hmm. on contraction of the players. I think uh, the people who come to the union, they should just be referring on Nigeria's recommendation, mm -hmm. where he was to look at this particular player, this who have gotten these particular caps, let them get this particular amount, let them be paid this amount, um, certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. This one is probably 100,000, 150,000, mm -hmm. the other one 70,000. Mm -hmm. Very good recommendation. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, when I was looking at, um, I was the director of development, mm -hmm. I was looking at the Nigeria's recommendation, mm -hmm. and I was recommending to the board and telling them, let us take this recommendation and let us publish this one and let it be uh, put in the, in the, in the seventh, in the seventh mm -hmm. team 
demand. The, we would be able to sort out the issues with the with the Kenyan servant uh, uh, problem mm -hmm. year in year out. But mm -hmm. because we keep on repeating the same thing year in out, so yeah, that's nobody wants to deal with the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but sometimes also issue of uh, the, the finance. But given that now yes. you see now they are, they are getting um, care billion now is it might be doing well because now the sponsors are coming in mm -hmm. and they can be able now to sort it out. Yes, but they can still refer to the Nigeria's recommendation and uh, it will work out for the Kenyan Sevens team. Yes. And these issues will be sorted out on the contract with the players. Yes. Yeah. And maybe what did, uh, where does this situation now leave Bling? But we can talk about what he did right for to get Kenya to this level again. Yeah, well, now, he, he, uh, you see, now, he, him, him, we work with the players that have been given. Because mm -hmm. him, he wants all the players. Mm -hmm. But see, now, we also have the union. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. The, the, the managers of the game. Who decide. Yeah, who decides mm -hmm. on now, who is supposed Key. to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because these are the players, coaches have gone, they have selected mm -hmm. these players. Mm -hmm. I need these guys to be in the camp for, to be contracted. But see now, if the union cannot be able to sort that one, mm -hmm. also becomes mm -hmm. a, a challenge for, for mm -hmm. the coaches to sort mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does he have options in the absence of Fonyala and Omondi? Yeah, they are brought in, um, we have good players uh, mm -hmm. who are coming up. Um, with time, they need to get experience and they have been playing in the African Sevens. Um, we have uh, good players like Amon Wamalo, we have seen uh, uh, Ondego who has mm -hmm. also been uh, uh, taken up. Uh, yeah, the, a debutant, the player, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, the debutant, mm -hmm. yeah. Brian Ondego who has mm -hmm. been playing. So, and you know, he has come through the, the edge grade system. Mm -hmm. um, He's a very skillful, uh, very skillful player. So with time, I think it will be able to, to stabilize. Mm -hmm. But they need uh, to have that kind of uh, uh, more games. Well, once they get more games uh, play, mm -hmm. see now it will be OK. But now, uh, as much as uh, they'll also be looking at the other tournaments, like mm -hmm. the Rome Sevens, the Paris Sevens, mm -hmm. London Sevens, they should be taking for these particular guys. Then now from there, uh, they get promoted now yes. uh, to the senior team. Yes. Yeah. And maybe uh, for the targets, what, well, how should, should Ja you know, set their targets in this particular season, just to survive? Uh, well, potential well, win <coughs> is punching above the weight. Yeah, you see now the challenge is where, where they, they need just to win the games. Uh, they have no shortcut because now they have come from uh, the challenge series. In challenge series, they have been playing lower ranked teams. Mm -hmm. And now, you see now they are playing against uh, the, the top the top tier teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kenya has been there, yes, but we also have these particular players who have been those particular um, uh, in the series. Mm -hmm. But see now they have, some of them are not playing now. Uh, they are missing the, the first two legs, but I don't know what will happen the other mm -hmm. one. But see now, uh, the target is um, at least uh, to get more than uh, 14 points. Mm -hmm. I think that one will be put them in the, in the same position. Mm -hmm. Because when we got the fourth one, the mm -hmm. sixth leg, I think now teams will be, coaches now will be st uh, strategizing. They'll mm -hmm. going out to analyze. You see now, the way they are playing today, even the, the next opponents for mm -hmm. Kenyan team, they're going to analyze the clips and they'll be able to know. How, how are they playing? Are these guys playing as um, a team? Or do we have just individual players who've tried it now because things are not working out and now they decide to hit and run and go and score. But now you see now when the coaches will be able now to go out and uh, study mm -hmm. and strategize on how we're going to counter mm -hmm. these guys in terms of uh, to avoid them in, in terms of attack, in terms of defense. How do you break their defense? Mm -hmm. How do you stop for their attack? Mm -hmm. So some coaches are very good in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, Kenyan just needs to get the maximum point in the first legs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, indeed. And maybe what what are some of the other teams that are likely to raise stakes in this yeah, particular look at South season. Africa. We are meeting South Africa. South Africa won Dubai, and uh, when you go to the records, they have done so well in uh, Dubai series. Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember when Dubai, they, uh, they won Dubai and came to uh, Cape Town, they flopped a bit. But see now they realized that the coach wasn't doing well, and Sandile now was uh, asked to step aside, and uh, Philip Simon came in, mm -hmm. uh, the former flyer for the Springboks, and mm -hmm. uh, he took over, and he's now he's stabilized. So we, we, we expect them. The biggest problem with the Kenyan and uh, I've been there uh, mm -hmm. with the Kenyan team. Whenever they play South Africa, I don't know. It's like the players just think they've already lost that game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> South and South yeah, we, and we've seen that rivalry also spilling into the, yeah. into the women's, uh, the, the women's rugby as well. We, oh. we were supposed to win that Africa Cup, right? Oh, yeah. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But now we just lost the concentration yeah, and they, sure. they took over. Mm -hmm. But whenever Kenya plays South Africa, you find that Kenya is playing much better. Mm -hmm. But I think we just lose concentration towards the end. So this time, they need to stabilize themselves and uh, believe in themselves that they can be able mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. beat a uh, beat box. Uh, Australia won some of the legs um, during the last series. I think it's also hard not to crack. So mm -hmm. we, we need to focus and uh, also what happens in tomorrow's game, mm -hmm. depending on the results of today's game yes. against uh, South Africa and Australia. Yes, yeah. and, and of course, and, um, and overall in this particular season, you saw also the second season where we'll be seeing the winner being awarded on the final day, then the grand final, like it happened Argentina-France. 
you, you expect maybe the usual power houses to rain or there could be surprises along the way? Well, now it depends. Uh, because it's too early to, to, to judge, I think we need to see how the other teams are playing uh, during the first or the, 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 I think during the the f up to the fourth leg. Mm -hmm. now, now we'll be able now to know uh, how these guys are going to handle themselves and uh, uh, tackle the, the league as we go on, the series mm -hmm. as we go on. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and instead of the usual uh, accumulation of points, now we have the grand final. Has this spiced up the tournament, made it more thrilling? Wait, yeah. it's won on the last day. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like what happened last time? Yes. Yeah, it, it, it has now because now they uh, we, we need to have a, a get a champion. Uh, but as much as uh, the, the most important thing is uh, as much as you know the top teams now will be able now to look at it. But see now the other teams just look on they survive because yes. the, the, the the biggest threat is uh, relegation. Mm -hmm. Once you move out of relegation, is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but th that's the main focus. But mm -hmm. now the other one just comes up as a bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and now for Kenya, I mean, after, after this particular series, after the opening leg in Dubai, the second stop is in Cape Town. Yeah. It will be, again, a tough one there for Kenya. Yeah, it depends now on, the, on, the, on how the, 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 they'll be slotted in the pool. Mm -hmm. uh, I think now the coach now will be able now to study. Once he knows the opponents, now he'll be able to plan one game at a time. But see now, they'll just have come from Dubai. The, the thing will now for the coach now to look on where he's supposed to, to, to improve, uh, where the weakness was, and uh, how he's supposed to maintain his strength uh, during the, the next leg of uh, Cape Town. Cape mm -hmm. Town, we've once done well, uh, though it's not a good hunting ground for us. But I think uh, depending on how he'll be able to play and how fast the coach will be able to assess his, uh, how, how the players perform mm -hmm. and have the best team for the next leg, the second leg in yes. South Africa, Cape Town. Yeah, and the support that maybe the Kenyan Shuja always commands out there. How important is the 12th, uh, the eighth man in the <laughs> seventh world? Yeah, I think uh, one of uh, the, the, uh, the fans, uh, Kenya has very aggressive uh, fans, and uh, even the cameras keep on shifting to, towards the, the knee. And we have more Kenyans also in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So I hope uh, it will be able to encourage the boys and support the boys uh, for them to perform well uh, in the, uh, the next uh, matches, mm -hmm. yeah, both in, um, in Dubai and also uh, in, in SA. Yes, and maybe looking at how uh, when Kenya was like coming up mm -hmm. after the relegation or demotion and how the efforts that were put in place to just have mm -hmm. this particular team back again in the elite, mm -hmm. uh, in the world circuit, and a lot has been talked about how bling and, and the technical bench was able to mm -hmm. get the act together, you know, like in terms, get it right in terms mm -hmm. of recruiting the talents that did do duty for Kenya in the Challenger Series last season. Yeah. Uh, and maybe w what did uh, that particular technical bench do right? Uh, you see, K Kenya is a, a playing nation, a uh, seventh uh, rugby playing nation. And uh, we've been there. Uh, I think most of the teams know. And uh, once now you're playing against the lower tier teams, so you see now at first they won in Dubai and uh, they moved on. Uh, they, they were able to flip a bit, but see now they kept on maintaining. Mm -hmm. But uh, what uh, Bling did was uh, to get the right players and also to get the right players in the, in the team and uh, give them the right training and also be able to assess how the other teams were playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember when we lost to uh, Germany in Munich, but now when we went to Madrid, I think it was easy. And the boys knew that uh, uh, they were to win that particular game to go back to the series. And uh, they fought hard. And they remember how Onyala was, uh, uh, was uh, controlling uh, the boys and uh, sometimes telling him to, to push hard and also maintain the pace of the game. Uh, so it was easy uh, for them to, it was not easy, but it was hard for them. And they believed in themselves mm -hmm. and they, they won that particular uh, game. So, uh, it, so the, it's just about the coaches uh, mm -hmm. putting the, 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 the right structures mm -hmm. in the place and also the union supporting the boys. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why they were able to make it back to HSB series. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe uh, also less, yesterday we did see some, this week actually, we did see some good announcement from uh, the corporates, especially uh, Safaricom, who came in with the you know, sponsorship to the two teams, Ernestus and uh, Shuja, which yeah. is a big booster to the, a little bit of the issues that they are facing financially. Yeah, yeah, that's a good morale for the players because at the end of the day, sometimes you are with these players, <laughs> and I was with them sometimes mm -hmm. back in uh, South Africa. And uh, even some of the landlords were calling them. Uh, they want to their rent to be paid, so they were asking now. Uh, there's nothing in the account. So you see now the players are focusing on the game at the same time. Yeah. They're also focusing on the, the other issues. Pressure on the other side. Yeah, mm -hmm. but once now this thing is sorted, now they only focus on the mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. So it becomes uh, also good for the players. A big push for, for the union mm -hmm. and also for the players. And um, 
wants also the the, the corporate in, uh, in, uh, yeah, okay it it, tr it trusts the it, uh, it tells the player that uh, okay what we're going to do we are going to put money in your account just concentrate on the game mm -hmm. so that's also a good assurance sure. for them so yeah. they just focus on mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. on the on the game and it yeah. will be able to get good results now in future yeah, and maybe for the countries that have professional the game, let's talk about South Africa, who maybe we belong with them in this particular continent. Yeah. How, what, what kind of steps did they take initially that have put them there where you play rugby and yeah. you have, don't have to worry about anything? Oh, yeah. You see, now the guys have got uh, good facilities uh, for the players to train mm -hmm. and also uh, their, their contract is mm -hmm. sorted. And uh, mm -hmm. you see, now once you get contracted, mm -hmm. you, uh, you just focus on the, on, on, on the calendar of, uh, mm -hmm. of, the, of the year. Uh -huh. well, yeah, so it becomes easy for, for them to, even the coach now, it also becomes easy for the coach to plan mm -hmm. because he's supposed to be with these particular players in the camp and they are supposed to be there immediately after the game. Yeah, so it, 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 it makes even the, the, the work to be easy and also for them to get the, the, the right coaching structure and also winning the games. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and of course, Lionesses also, just as we wind up, Lionesses also um, beat just losing to South Africa. I remember watching that particular final and mm -hmm. they had a chance to kill the game, but that did not happen. South Africa actually capitalized on that one and just ran away with the Africa title. But the good thing is they're also in the 2025 Challenger Series. Yeah. Uh, their chances in 2025? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, now, once things have been sorted mm -hmm, out, like mm -hmm. uh, now they have been assured yes. of um, the payment because that's been the biggest complaint and uh, it's been slowing down in terms of mm -hmm. uh, playing. And uh, once now this has been sorted, they, they, they stand a high chance. Uh, you remember last time they were playing and they were so close. Uh, they went up sure. to the same finals sure. uh, in, in Warsaw in Poland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this time around, uh, the way they were playing, they just coach need to go and uh, look on what playing because South Africa is one of the top um, uh, teams in the, in the world. Uh, so need to go and look at where did they go wrong and then they rectify and then they also look at the opponent and study the opponents. They analyze, uh, they analyze the opponent. Mm -hmm. So it also becomes easy uh, from the training program and uh, also look at the fixtures mm -hmm. and how it'd be able to balance these players. Because at times these players, you find that they're also in seven and they're also playing for 15s. Yes, yeah. yes. Sometimes, sometimes you see the 15s are not performing well, mm -hmm. uh, missing out because these players, the are, the players, players, players are, in action. Are, are in action. So you also need to have a huge pool of players, especially mm -hmm. for the sevens and the 15 mm -hmm. players. So it's easy, but once uh, the structures have not been put in place, mm -hmm. it also becomes a bit difficult. The development structures mm -hmm. are supposed to be put in, and it put in the place in the right way. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have need to have um, like uh, two teams or three teams mm -hmm. and let these teams also go and participate mm -hmm. in different tournaments across the world mm -hmm. so now the coaches can be able now to to get um, the players and get exposure from these players and the, once they have the experience now it's easy even for the national team now to have a huge pool of players look at south africa springboks they have yeah. used 52 players sure. uh, in the last um, around te 10 test matches 52 mm -hmm. players that's a huge player that's a huge, yeah, a huge pool of yeah, huge players uh -huh. yeah so this guy is ready for the 20 depth 20 is there yeah, yeah. 2027 the guy is ready to tackle the, the, the mm -hmm. They were the World mm -hmm. Cup mm -hmm. uh, because they have testing and the next uh, test matches and more are still coming in. Mm -hmm. So by the time they reach 2027, probably they have t they have um, given an opportunity around 80 players. Yes. So assembling a, a pool of 45 players is not hard for them. Yes, yeah. and we also expect maybe to see a number of uh, Shuja players who wait on the line to be. We see them being introduced in these particular legs, you know, yeah. one by one in each and every leg. We see debutants, and that's maybe that's how we can have a larger pool of experienced players. Yeah, the way I've said, we'll have the likes of Inzuga, the mm -hmm. Tabu, and uh, mm -hmm. the likes of Amon Omalo, yes. even the process probably. You know, you can't play. And uh, the, the biggest challenge is uh, the first players, with the seven, uh, the first players who start, mm -hmm. the one who are fielded. You see now, those are the key players uh, in that particular matches. Mm -hmm. And when you miss at least two, so mm -hmm. these guys need also to step up. Uh, because those guys who bring in and the one who started, you mm -hmm. always see there's a, a huge difference. There's a slight gap mm -hmm. of this guy is giving around 90 and the other one is giving around 100%. Mm -hmm. So now they need to bring up to the same level. Uh, where these guys who are coming in and who are going in, mm -hmm. there's no gap. I yes. think that's where now Kenya will be able to do well uh, yes. in the remaining tournaments. Yes, indeed. Uh, Thank you so much, Mwalimu. We hope to catch you again as the season wears on and just began today, the Dubai Sevens, where Kenya currently playing Australia. We'll be able to tell you how that uh, has panned out. Yeah. Uh, they're playing um, South Africa. South Africa, yeah. sorry, at yeah. 158. Actually, yeah, sure. the match is about to end, or it ended a couple of seconds ago. Yeah, then sure. they finish their campaign against Australia later on in the yeah. day. Yeah. But thank you, Mwalimu, former okay. director with yeah. Kenya Rugby Union, development director with Kenya Rugby Union, and also coach at Comras. Malimu Asante from Sam. Dawako. See thank you, thank you. Okay, you let's, we'll be back with the fans on, on the touchline. Stay with us.